powder on. This is Emerald Dio. And this video is um, Uno. Nombre Uno. Nombre Uno. So it's the first video I'm doing on a Christian woman's perspective, that's me, of Avatar The Way of Water. 2 Corinthians 3.17 Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 1 Peter 5, 8-10 And 1 Timothy 6, 10 NIV Verses Fiction and Fantasy Drama and Trauma So I'm going to give a, a breakdown my faith down of what I see when I have watched the Avatar. I'm going to give you my vision that I see of the biblical truth of the Spirit of the Lord has revealed to me, and I perceive and believe that Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. And I just pray as you watch these series of videos that you just get a download from heaven of the beauty and the majesty and the glory and the goodness that Jesus Christ, when he spoke those words, I go to prepare a place for you. That the Lord said, with God, all things are possible, and he works out all things for the good of those who love him. And He does abundantly, exceedingly beyond what we can possibly think or imagine. And the fruits of the Spirit are love, kindness, joy, peace, long-suffering. And whatever is a reflection of the joy and the holiness and the purity is, is a reflection of Jesus, I believe. And he, he works out all things for the good of those who love Him. And I'm going to start this, this breakdown to, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He is just amazing, God Almighty. Like, He will fill you with the most beautiful insights through His Word. It will come alive. It will breathe a fresh breath into your very spirit. And He truly is the only way. And how you get born again in the Bible, it says, is that you repent for believing in other things as God, and even at times esteeming yourself as God, but believing Jesus Christ really did fully come, fully God, fully man, and He died on the cross. Like, His hands were pierced, and He bled out from His head, and He died for you willingly and he was supernaturally and this truly did happen this is not fantasy but jesus really did resurrect from the dead he came back in glory shining in light like you might see these avatars right glowing in light but jesus christ legit right he was glowing and came back to life resurrected on the third day and when you believe in him and truly acknowledge Him as Lord and Savior, that He died for us to pay the price for our sins, how much we bruised for our iniquity, pierced for our transgressions, and by His stripes we are healed. He is calling you to Him right now. Even in this truth versus fiction perspective, He is showing you His light and His way. And when you just believe in Jesus Christ, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, the Word of God says you're born again when you truly confess. And Lord, I just release the anointing of Jesus Christ that resurrected you, Lord Abba, from the grave upon every person under the sound of my voice or watching these videos, Lord. And I pray your glory, your peace, your anointing just falls upon them as I 
read these words, Lord, and give my perspective, Abba. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, at the um, onset of even the first Avatar movie, it makes me think of 1 Timothy 6, 10. And if you don't have a Bible, version is fantastic. You can go to the version Bible on the Google or Android Play Store. I, I'm not affiliated with them anyway, but that's just, it's great. They, they have a free download for you. And NIV is a great translation. I have my Bible here, and I'm just going to pull up the Amplified version. And essentially, it talks about money is the root of all evil. And I think when you get to the core of, like, in this fantasy fiction movie of them exploring this new planet, it comes down to money, right? It comes down to, like, that the tree of life there and the, the value. And then even in the whale later in this movie, um, like, the core being sucked out of her was for money, right? You know, killing for money. And when you look at 1 Timothy 6.10, pull it up here. I mean, the works, the word of God just speaks right into that. And again, this is the amplified version. NIV is good too. And you can see here, this is my word I'm reading from. For the love of money, that is the greedy desire for it and the willingness to gain it unethically. So let's just look at that right there. Unethically. Like scientist dudes, when they're like bringing in the avatars and whatnot and the scientists are there, but then you've got these like, I guess you could say contractors that are there to get the wealth and they will, they don't care really that they're burning cities and they're killing people. I'm just going to refer to the Avatar as as people. You know, we know they're Avatars in this fiction series, but to make things simple. So the Word of the Lord says, For the love of money, that is the greedy desire for it and the willingness to gain it unethically, is a root of all sorts of evil. And some, by longing for it, have wandered away from the faith and perceive themselves through and through with many sorrows. So like once you realize the devastation that you've caused by maybe cheating people or stealing from people so you can get more wealth, you know, at the end of the day, it causes you grief and sorrow. And at the end of the day, as we saw at the end of the first Avatar movie, all the space people got shipped off, right? You know, they got kicked out of the planet because they ultimately lost. They lost the battle there. And that goes right back to the word here at uh, 1 Timothy 6.10. And the other word I wanted to give you was 1 Peter 5. So chapter 5, verses 8 through 10 amplified. Be sober, well-balanced, and self-disciplined. Be alert and cautious at all times. That enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. But resist him, be firm in your faith against his attack, rooted, established, and movable. And rooted, established, and movable is such a powerful part of the Amplified version of that verse. Because when you're rooted in Jesus Christ, and you believe you've been born again, And when you read his word, it says, I go to prepare a place for you, which is heaven. And throughout the Bible, it talks about the visions that John the Beloved and so many through in Revelations, they've received visions of the glory of his majesty that we truly, there is a hell and there is a heaven. And when you believe in heaven, it is majesty, it is glory, it is fun. Because all good and holy and beautiful things come from the Lord. So I've had visions of heaven, y'all. And 
I've had visions of hell when I asked the Lord to take me deeper. And some of the prophets of God, Donna Rigney is a ministry, Donna Rigney Ministries I've been a part of since 2019, and Kat Kerr, Revealing Heaven, uh, Robin Bullock. Um, if you go to their ministry pages, they go deep into the visions that the Lord has given them of heaven. And I've been so blessed to receive visions. And it is glorious. The waters I've seen in heaven, you know, that through the river of life that streams through from the throne of heaven is so beautiful and miraculous. That when you come to know Jesus Christ and you dive into his word and you believe that there is eternal life with him, when you believe in him, you are so rooted that you do not fear death. That you know where you will be when you pass. Now, knowing that, the word goes on to say, the same experiences of suffering are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the world. You do not suffer alone. And we have hope in his glory. I will say... Being one with the body of Christ, we weep when our brothers and sisters weep. China, when we are praying against COVID in 2020, and I don't think people were aware of the body of Christ in China, how they were being killed and targeted with COVID. You know, there's all the different types of controversy about the strands and it originating there or not originating there. But what I can tell you is when I was at prayer meetings in early 2020, I had open visions. And I'm just going to be real with you. It was not pretty. I saw body bags in the spirit realm. I, I truly believe the Lord was showing me currently what was happening in China. I saw piles of people shot in the street and I saw a woman crying out in Jesus is my name for help. And it was not pretty. And I wept and I cried and I, I cried out for the people in the body of Christ within China because it's real, the persecution of the, the people of God. And when I saw the fires, and so going to the movie now, where in the first movie where, where the bulldozers came in and they were tearing down the tree of life and where the fires were put ablaze, you know, you may not see fires against the body of Christ, but we are people filled with the Spirit. When you believe in Jesus Christ, you accept the Holy Spirit within you. And whether you pray in tongues, which is the gift of the Spirit of, of tongues, or you simply believe in Jesus Christ, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you've received them, you are a Christian. When you turn from, repent from sin, believe. And we are, I believe, when you start loving the body of Christ, whether you're Episcopalian or Catholic or Assemblies of God or Holy Spirit filled with evidence of speaking tongues and a non-denominational, I really believe when we love one another as the body of Christ, we ache and hurt when they ache and hurt. And, and they do also. So, you know, the trauma in this movie, in drama versus as a Christian... Yes, there's, there's been trauma on this earth the last several years. But the hope we have in Christ Jesus is everlasting life. And that he really, his hands were pierced. He wore a crown of thorns and it, was, it, it pierced his head that blood literally dripped down, that he died for us. So in the word of God, it says what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. So there's a spirit realm in heaven 
And there's a beautiful place that we go to be when we pass. And it's real. It's so beautiful. But there is a hell. You know, Hitler in the Holocaust is not some fictional thing. It actually happened. That was an evil person. COVID is not a fiction or fantasy. That actually happened. I have loved ones who have died. But the hope that I have inside is Jesus and life everlasting that we have with him in heaven and the glory for his story. That if you have breath in your lungs right now, he has rest and hope from you from above right now. And he comes to heal the brokenhearted. He comes to bind up our wounds. And I believe even at the cellular memory, he can take away the trauma and the drama. So Lord, I just lift up every person under the sound of my voice right now. And I pray against trauma from COVID, from fires, from catastrophe that they've experienced, not just in reference to this fantasy movie, but in their real life, Lord. And I just pray, Lord Jesus, you give them an open vision. Release a vision from heaven that even though this horror, this hell that maybe they experienced on earth, it never came from you, Lord, that you love them with an everlasting love, Lord, and that you're filling them up from above, Jesus. I pray you fill their heart up with your love. You show them your love from above, Jesus, that you truly died for them, Lord, and take away every memory. I bind every demonic stronghold from afflicting any person listening, watching this video, and I render it deaf, dumb, blind, mute, and paralyzed, to tell to loose and exit. Go from them now, and I bind the love of Christ Jesus, the power of the gospel, Lord. Fill their mind with your love. Show them that you held them in your arms from the moment they were conceived, even in their, their mother's womb, that they are not, they are born, they were born with a purpose and a destiny. That you have great plans for their life and you love them with an everlasting love this night and always. So I pray that you receive that perspective tonight. I'm going to do several more videos. So this is part one. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray the peace of the Lord upon you this day, his kindness and his goodness and his rest this evening in every way. Bye!